Welcome to my stories ret channel. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, please like and share your comments. We make new videos with interesting stories every day. AITA for refusing to play nice to my father's GF and by doing do preventing them from moving in together? Some background info. My mother, 37, had me, 20M, at 17. She was never a mother to me and I was raised by my grandparents and later my uncle, 34. When I was 8 my grandma got sick and my uncle, who was 22 at the time started taking me in and I moved with him full time at 12. I only saw my mother for family events and she was always criticizing me. How I looked, my hobbies, what I liked. By 14 I refused to talk and or see her. When I was 18 my uncle proposed to legally adopt me. I decided to go see my mother one last time to inform her and have some closure. During this talk she told me my father's name. I talked to my family about him and long story short basically everyone know him. His family lived in the same town as my great grandparents and my family used to go there every holidays. I decided to try to meet him with my uncle. He, 36, moved back a few years back to be close to his family and he took everything pretty well. I did made sure to inform him that I already had a dad. He told me he had no children and was interested in knowing me. He presented me to his parents and they even found some pictures of me with him from before he went to college. For the last two years we had a pretty great relationship. He also got along well with my uncle. At college I call him once a week and I see him pretty often. The issue is his GF Anna. They don't live together and have been a couple for over three years. She made it clear that I had no place here. After a few encounters with her she reminded me so much of my mom, her attitude, her remarks and critics that I refused to go see him for a while. I think he realized because he told me that she didn't need to be here every time. I only see her when I go to eat with him at his parents's. She stills managed to make it clear that I don't belong in this family. When I ask questions she tells me stuff like if you were really a part of the family you should know, always pointing physical differences. So it was a surprise when she called me last week. I thought it was an emergency so I answered. She told me that she wanted to move in with my dad but he refused because he knows we don't get along and he wanted his house to be a safe place for me and he was afraid I would come by less if she was here all the time. It's the truth. She then told me I should put my grudges aside and try to be nicer to her for my father's sake. I told her no. I had years of therapy to be able to remove toxic people from my life and being with her is like being with my mom. I do not want to put myself in this kind of situation anymore. I talk to my uncle and he agrees, for him my mental health should always be my top priority but some other people think that I should at least make an effort for my father's happiness and that it would be selfish to not try. Commenter asks about bio dad, oh sorry if I wasn't explicit enough in my post, it's hard to explain well with the character limit.my bio dad never knew I was his son until two years ago. My mom always told us my father was a summer fling and she didn't know who he was. My bio dad lived in the same town as my great grandparents so they all were kind of summer slash holidays friends. He and his family met me but in their eyes I was the new grandkid. My grandparents and his parents were close so they used to have dinner and spend afternoon together. So until he left for good I used to see him sometimes during holidays. Update, so at first I wasn't sure about making an update but the comments I got really helped me. You were all saying what my uncle and some friends were saying to me but it's different hearing it from people who don't know me and aren't biased. After reading your comments I realized what the issue was. When I explain my family situation to people a lot of them, not close friends and immediate family, say the same thing how lucky I am to have a bio dad who wants and agrees to spend time to get to know me, how grateful I should be. My bio dad or his family never made me feel like that, but I guess that after hearing a lot of people saying it, it kind of got to me and I realized now that I was restraining myself to not disappoint him. I guess in my mind I had to work and be nice to have his affection because I did not deserve it, you can blame my bio mom for that. 
Anyway after realizing that I also realized that I never told him and his parents how his GF was treating me and I also realized she was smart enough to do it when they were all out of earshot. I am a non-confrontational person and I was scared to say everything at once to my bio dad, and I was afraid to not be able to express properly everything I wanted to convey. I talked to my uncle about it and he proposed to made an appointment with a therapist to have a kind of family session so it would be easier for me to express myself. We did it before in our family and it helped me a lot. We talked about it to my bio dad and he immediately agreed. He could sense that something was off. Anyway during the session I kind of exploded. I started talking and couldn't stop myself, at first I felt that it made no sense because I was saying everything and nothing at once but luckily the therapist helped a lot. We all had a very long talk and put everything on the table. My bio dad had no idea that it was this bad with his GF and he was really appalled and remorseful for not realizing it. Something that angered him and my uncle a lot was the comment about me not looking like my dad, which I never took notice of because it's true. My mom and uncle are half Filipino, and I took everything from the Filipino side except his dimples. All of this happened last month and since then he broke up with her, and I try to be more honest about what I feel without being afraid of what he thinks. He also proposed to continue family therapy if I feel like it would help me talk about certain topics. This relationship is still a work in progress, but honestly I feel very good about it. And some of you asked, but yes my uncle adopted me when I turned 18.